गो टू स्टेटमेंट अ गो टू स्टेटमेंट प्रोवाइड्स एन अनकंडीशनल जंप फ्रॉम द गो टू टू अ लेबल्ड स्टेटमेंट सो यर लेबल इज एन आइडेंटिफायर एंड इट कैन बी सेट एनी वेयर इन दी सी प्रोग्राम अबो और बिलो टू दी गो टू स्टेटमेंट इफ लेबल इज सेट अबो दी गो टू स्टेटमेंट देन इट इज कॉल्ड बैकवर्ड जंप स्टेटमेंट एंड इफ इट इज सेट बिलो दी गो टू देन इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ फॉरवर्ड जंप दिस इंटैक्स इज एज फॉलोस सो गो टू लेबल नेम देन लेबल नेम देन adding the statements or label name with the statements then go to label name so the first example indicates what the forward jump and the second one is what the backward jump now let us understand the go to uh, label statement so here i have included the two set of uh, program so this program shows without go to and label statements and this program shows the go to and label statements here okay so here i have not included the go to and the label statements here so what is the output of this program can you tell me so the output of the program is what so it will print the c then slash t leave some space and it will print is a then it will print the next statement that is programming language programming language i hope understood the output of this program okay now we'll see here i have used the go to and the label statements here unconditional statements now we'll see how it works so here i have included the printf statement that is c so it will print c the next statement is what go to label now the control of execution has to go to this label okay so where it is so here it is so the control of execution is transferred from this statement to the this label here so whatever the statements included in this label it will execute so label the statement is what printf programming language so c programming language so that means what it has skipped so so this statement is skipped when i use the go to label here so go to statement it will transfer the control of execution to this label here okay so the control of execution will go to this uh, label then execute the statements okay so this is what the output of this program so i hope you understood the program so without go to and with go to label statements here okay then uh, return uh, statement so return statement terminates the execution of a function and returns control to the calling function it can also return a value to the calling function and the syntax is return expression so here the value of expression is returned here for example so here i am considering a simple uh, c program so here i use uh, the int main here okay so let us understand the difference between the void main int main float main here okay so void what it indicates it does not require any value to return so in the c programming the every function will return a value here okay so main is a function so it has to return a value so if i include void instead of int here so that means what this function does not return any value here okay so here i have included the int main so that means what this main function must return a integer value why integer value because i have declared it as a int here if suppose if i declared the float main so what it indicates so this main function must return the floating value here getting my point 
okay so now you'll understand the return statements in this program so it will print c is a programming language then i need to include i must return some value to this function here so what value i am returning so i am return zero so zero is return to this main function here so each and every function in the c program must return a value here so void indicates no return value if i included the other type of data type of main functions then our functions then i must return the respective data type value here if it is int then i must return the integer value if it is float i must return a floating point value right if it is a char then i must return the character value to that function here so every function will return a value in the c program here right this is the program which will show the usage of a return unconditional statement here